worst barometer day was uh, first celebrated in the year 2010 uh, and almost 100,000 patients were actually tested on this day. Uh, it was very successful and um, the, the, the test revealed that almost a quarter of the patients who were tested had some abnormality in their spirometry. Uh, and this was one of the reasons why uh, the European Respiratory Society who have actually managed to held, um, managed to hold another uh, uh, World Spirometry Day in 2012. Um, and, and in this year, uh, it coincides quite nicely with the Olympics in, uh, in July uh, 27th. Uh, the, the actual World Spirometry Day is, is due to be held on the 27th of June, but uh, centers all over the world are holding the day on, on either before or after the specific day. And the main aim is that we um, um, get a, a specific day when patients can uh, come to hospitals or their doctors and have a spirometry done um, and, and test their lungs. Essentially the World Spirometry Day is a day so that we can raise awareness of lung diseases. And by doing the spirometry uh, we, can, we can identify the patients uh, who have had uh, or, or who have lung problems. It's almost like uh, the cardiologist would do an ECG, uh, which is one of the most basic investigations for the heart, but uh, we're trying to raise awareness as to how a patient would go to a clinic and have their lungs assessed at that point in time. And the spirometer uh, by far is the only uh, test that we can do. Uh, and it's, it's a very simple test. It takes about five to 10 minutes if everything is, is done the right way. And we can get a lot of information from this. So the whole idea of having um, a specific day to celebrate the World Spirometer Day is to increase awareness for lung uh, problems and conditions. The spirometry will tell us uh, if the the patient has something called an obstructive airways disease or a restrictive airways disease. And uh, once we know if, they are, if it's an obstructive airways disease, then the possibilities could be either asthma or something called uh, COPD or emphysema. Um, once we identify uh, the problem, then the person actually needs to see a specialist or his general practitioner and have more tests because to, we need to differentiate whether it's a, uh, it's a reversible condition like asthma or uh, an irreversible condition like emphysema. We can also find out more problems with the lungs such as uh, pulmonary fibrosis or scarring of the lungs um, and, and, and that's what we would suggest uh, everyone who has this parameter if it's an abnormal test they should see the uh, doctor uh, to have uh, further investigations or have it explained. Anyone above the age of 40 uh, should have a spirometry test, uh, particularly if they've been a smoker in the past or they are still smoking. If anyone uh, has symptoms of shortness of breath, uh, particularly on exercise or bees, uh, or, if, or if they just want to find out how, how healthy their lungs are, this is uh, one of the simplest tests which will tell us um, how their lungs are functioning. I think if you uh, would like to improve your lungs, the number one thing to do would be if you're smoking, then you obviously need to stop smoking. Uh, the, the other, uh, contrary to what people might think, uh, if you have lung problems, then patients tend to stop exercising or doing any physical activity. This actually uh, makes the condition worse. So the idea is that if you have a lung problem, then you really need to continue your physical activity, not completely stop, but start exercising, it might be to start off slowly, but then you will need to start and continue the exercise or physical activity because this will uh, increase your lung uh, function and your lung capacity. So uh, healthy lifestyle, um, continuing your exercise and of course healthy eating as well.